Hello and welcome, I'm Abhishek Singh and you're watching the Hindustan Times. Your election headquarters with polling in Maharashtra and Jharkhand over, fates of the candidates have been sealed in the EVMs. With over 9 crore voters in Maharashtra and 1.23 crore voters in the second phase in Jharkhand having spoken through the EVMs, it is time for the pollsters and sophologists to talk. And here's what they're saying. Multiple exit polls are predicting Mahayuti will retain Maharashtra and BJP will win Jharkhand. People's Pulse has claimed NDA will win between 42 to 27 seats in Jharkhand against India Bloc's 25 to 30. The exit poll agency has also predicted that Maharashtra will remain with NDA and NDA is likely to get anywhere between 175 to 195 while MVA will back between 85 to 112 seats. Matriz has predicted NDA will win Jharkhand with between 42 to 27 seats against India Alliance 25 to 30. It has also been predicted that Mahayuti will be in power in Maharashtra after bagging between 150 to 170 seats, while MVA will get around 110 to 130 seats. Congress, which was looking for a breather, it seems, is facing defeat in both states. Now, let's first talk about the numbers for Maharashtra in detail. The total polling in the state till 5 p.m. stood at roughly 58%, where BJP led Mahayuti is being predicted to win against the Mahavikas Agari. But before I tell you more, remember this. Take these numbers with a pinch of salt because in the recently held Haryana elections, most exit polls got the final result horribly wrong. Now the future of 4,136 candidates is hanging in the balance. Results will be announced on 23rd November by the Election Commission. The contest in Maharashtra in the 2024 Assembly elections is largely bipolar. It is a contest between the BJP in alliance with Ajit Pawar-led NCP and Eknath Shinde-led Shiv Sena under the ruling Mahayuti banner versus the opposition. MVA alliance comprising the Shiv Sena led by Uddhav Thakre, the NCP led by Sharad Pawar and Congress party. Now let's quickly take a look at the numbers. The first exit poll as you can see behind me is by Chanakya Strategies. As per this exit poll, out of the total 288 seats, Mahayuti stands to win on 152 to 160 seats. The Mahavikas Agadi is expected to win between 130 to 138 seats, while the others stand to win anywhere between 6 to 8 seats. Now moving to the next exit poll. Mahayuti is expected to win anywhere between 150 to 170. Mahavikas Agadi anywhere between 110 to 130 and others anywhere between 8 to 10 seats. This exit poll is by Matrice. Now moving to the next exit poll, this is by P. Mark. Mahayuti, as per this exit poll, stands to gain anywhere between 137 to 157 seats. The Mahavikas Agadi, anywhere between 126 to 146 seats. Others, anywhere between 2 to 8 seats. Now the next exit poll is by Poll Diary. As per this exit poll, Mahayuti is expected to win anywhere between 122 to 186 seats. Notice the range. It is rather large. The difference between the bottom and of course the upper number of seats which is being predicted for Mahayuti is at least as many as 64 seats. Now moving to the next one, this is of course the seats for Mahavikas Agari. It's going to be between 69 to 121 as per poll diary and others stand to win anywhere between 12 to 29 seats. Moving to the next exit poll, this is of course a poll of polls. Now as you can see as per the poll of polls, as per most exit polls, BJP-led Mahayuti is expected to win the majority. Now, as you can see on the slide behind me, Shiv Sena in 2019 won 56 seats, BJP 105, Congress 44 and NCP 54. Now, what has changed since 2019 is of course the fact that this time around Shiv, so Shiv Sena has broken in two parts, NCP also. And there is no alliance between BJP and Shiv Sena. BJP has an alliance with the Shiv Sena, but that is the Shiv Sena faction led by Shinde. And Congress, of course, is fighting this time in uh, alliance with NCP, the faction led by Sharad Pawar, and Shiv Sena, the faction led by Uddhav Thakre. Now, moving to the next slide, this is, of course, the seats on which BJP fought versus the number of seats on which Shiv Sena fought and the number of seats on which NCP fought. These are the numbers for the Mahayuti Alliance. BJP fought on 149 seats, Shiv Sena on 81, and NCP on 59. Moving to the next slide, these are the numbers for MVA. Now, as far as the seat division for MVA is concerned, Shiv Sena, led by Uddhav Thakre, fought on 95 seats. Congress, on 101 seats. NCP, led by Sharad Pawar, fought on 86 seats. Moving to the next slide, let's take a look at the battle on some of the key constituencies. First up, Baramati. Here, Ajit Pawar, 
who is leading the faction which separated from Sharad Pawar led NCP is up against Yogendra Pawar of, of course, uh, Mahavikas Agadi. Moving to the next constituency, this is Kopri Pachpakhari, where Eknath Shinde, the current Chief Minister of Maharashtra, is up against Kedar Dige. Now, the next key constituency is Varli. It's a triangular contest. The first candidate is Milan Devra, the second one is Aditya Thakre, and the third is Sandeep Deshpande. Now, this time around, the Maharashtra election is marked by several controversies, including the cash for votes and Bitcoin scam allegations. Charges have flown thick and fast during the day. Supriya so Sule and Nana Patole have been accused of a Bitcoin scam by Mahayuti. And Vinod Tavde has been accused of cash for votes by Mahavikas Agadi. Clarifications have come in from both sides. And of course, the matter against each other has been taken to the election commission. But that's not really the focus of this video. Now, next up, let's talk about Jharkhand where BJP is in a close contest with Heman Soren-led Jharkhand Mukti Morcha. A total of 528 candidates are contesting for the 38 seats in this phase. Voter turnaround until 5 p.m. in the state stood at 67.59% in the second phase, where polling took for 38 assembly seats. In the first phase, which took place on 13th November, the polling took place for 43 seats. Now, what has made these elections really interesting is the fact that Heman Soren, who was in jail until June 24th, is fighting along with his wife, Kalpana Soren, and sister-in-law, Sita Soren. Now, let's take a look at the numbers for Jharkhand. As per Chanakya strategies, on a total of 81 seats, NDA is expected to win anywhere between 45 to 50 seats. India Alliance, anywhere between 35 to 38 seats. Others, between 3 and 5. Moving to the next exit poll, which is by Matrice, NDA is expected to win anywhere between 42 to 47 seats, India Alliance anywhere between 25 to 30 seats, and others anywhere between 1 to 4 seats. Now, as you can see, uh, all the exit polls that we have so far taken a look at, BJP has a clear edge over Heman Soren's party and, of course, India Alliance as a whole. Uh, as per People's Pulse exit poll, NDA stands to win on 42 to 48 seats, India Alliance between 16 to 23 seats, Others, anywhere between 8 to 14 seats. Now, the last exit poll is by Times Now JVC. As per this exit poll, NDA stands to win anywhere between 40 to 44 seats. India Alliance, anywhere between 30 to 40 seats. Others, anywhere between 0 to 1. BJP-led NDA stands to gain a majority on its own. In which case, of course, the India Alliance, after Maharashtra, stands to lose one more state. Let's take a look at what happened in 2019. For those of you who want to compare the exit poll numbers with what happened in the actual results when they actually came out in 2019. So, JMM in 2019, 130 seats, BJP 25, Congress 16, JVM 3, AGSU 2 and RJD 1. Now is the time when we will take a look at some of the key constituencies. Now, the first key constituency, of course, is Barhat, where Heman Soren is up against Gamliar Hembrom. Moving to the next key constituency, which is Jagnanthpur, where Geeta Koda is up against Sonaram Singhko. The next key constituency in Jharkhand for all parties involved is Jamtara, where Dr. Rifan Ansari of the BJP is up against Sita Soren, who is, of course, the sister-in-law of the former Chief Minister of Jharkhand, Heman Soren. Now, the next key seat is Ranchi, where Mahua Maji is up against CP Singh. Now, Sarai Kela is another one of the key constituencies in Jharkhand, where Champai Soren is up against Ganesh Mehli. Now, this brings the exit poll presentation that we had put together for you to a conclusion. Between now and 23rd of November, you will hear a lot of cephologists, pollsters talk about who's going to win, who's going to lose. But I will say, take all of those numbers with a pinch of salt, because as the health warning here says, exit polls often get it wrong. And most recently, you saw that in the case of Haryana, where BJP, contrary to what most exit polls were predicting, ended up coming out as the winner. That said, I'll join you on 23rd of November. Thank you for watching.